Good morning. Today we are going to see the tissues. Tissue definition. Group of cells performing similar function constitutes tissue. Types of tissue. Basically, there are four types of tissues. Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissue. Epithelial tissue. It consists of closely aggregated polyhedral cells with little or no intercellular substance. That means, okay, the cells are very closely arranged, closely aggregated. Polyhedral cells means the cells has many surfaces. Polyhedral means many surface with little or no intercellular substance. Between the cells, there is a substance known as intercellular substance. It may be very little or it may be absent. Connected tissue. Tissue that protects, supports and forms the structure for other tissues or organs. Constitutes connected tissue. It is characterized by presence of abundance of intercellular substance. So between the cells, the intercellular substance present here is when plenty when compared to the epithelial tissue. Muscle tissue. It consists of elongated fibers which has specialized function of contraction. When you move the limbs, the muscle is contracting. So that is the specialized character of muscular tissue. Nervous tissue. It consists of a cell body with an elongated process arising from the cell body which has specialized function of receiving, transmitting and generating nerve impulses. If you take a pin and prick on the skin, it receives the sensation and it transmits to the brain where the impulse is generated and it gives the return input so that you are taking the hand from the picking point. So that is a nervous tissue. Epithelial tissue. Classification of epithelial tissue. The epithelial tissue may be classified into covering and lining epithelium and number two glandular epithelium or glands. Covering and lining epithelium. See covering and lining epithelium they cover the surface of any structure or organ or they line the inner surface of the lumen or hole of any structure or organ. Hence it is called covering and lining epithelium. Okay. The covering and lining epithelium may be divided into two types depending upon the layers of cells and shape of the cells present in the epithelium. So it is of two types. Number one, simple epithelium. Number two, stratified or compound epithelium. Simple epithelium, it consists of single layer of cells arranged on your basement membrane. Stratified epithelium, it consists of two or more layers of cells. Simple epithelium, the simple epithelium is again divided into simple squamous, simple cuboidal, simple columnar epithelium simple squamous epithelium squamous means flat so simple squamous epithelium it consists of single layer of flat epithelial cells example epithelium of alveoli of lungs number two mesothelium that is the epithelium lining the peritoneum, pleura and pericardium. Number three, endothelium. That is the epithelium lining the blood and lymph vessels. They are known as endothelium. So these are the examples for simple squamous epithelium. Simple cuboidal epithelium. It consists of a single layer of cuboidal cells. The height and the width of the cells are equal. It is a cube-like structure and the nucleus is 
round and centrally placed. Example, follicles of thyroid gland, epithelium lining the surface of the ovary, otherwise known as germinal epithelium. Simple columnar epithelium, it consists of a single layer of columnar cells, that is the height of the cell is larger when compared to the width of the cell, that is the breadth of the cell. So they are the columnar cells. It consists of single layer arranged on the basement membrane. Example, stomach and large intestine. In the simple columnar epithelium are characterized by presence of villi on the surface. Okay. This is present in small intestine and gallbladder. So, simple columnar epithelium with villi are present in small intestine and gallbladder. If the simple columnar epithelium are characterized by presence of cilia, small hair like projection, cilia on the surface of the epithelium, it is known as simple ciliated columnar epithelium. Example, respiratory tract, uterine tube, septal canal of the spinal cord, epididymis. Pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Actually, it is a single layer of cells attached to the basement membrane. Okay. In the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, some of the cells are long and thin, some of the cells are short and thick. So this gives a false appearance as if there are two layers of cells, hence the name pseudostratified. The superior surface of the epithelium are lined by cilia. So it is known as pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Example, trachea and primary bronchi. Stratified epithelium. The stratified epithelium is also divided into stratified squamous, stratified cuboidal, and stratified columnar epithelium. Stratified squamous epithelium. In this, the superficial most cells are flat. Stratified squamous epithelium is again divided into Stratified squamous, keratinized epithelium and stratified squamous, non-keratinized epithelium. Keratinized means pigment, non-keratinized means absence of pigment. So stratified squamous, keratinized epithelium, okay, the superficial most cells are dry and it is pigmented. Example, skin, outer surface of the tympanic membrane. Stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. In this type, the superficial most cells are moist, alive, and it is non pigmented, absence of pigment. Examples epithelium lining the oral cavity, tongue, pharynx, esophagus, anal canal, vagina, and cornea. Stratified cuboidal epithelium. In this type of epithelium, the superficial most cells are cuboidal in nature. Example, seminiferous tubules and ducts of sweat glands. Stratified columnar epithelium. In this type of epithelium, the superficial most cells will be columnar in type. Example, ducts of large glands, salivary glands and conjunctiva. Transitional epithelium. Transitional epithelium. What is transitional epithelium? Transitional means altering its shape. So, 
it goes on changing its shape time to time. So where this type of epithelium is present, it is present in the urinary bladder, ureter and urethra. So it is present mainly in the urinary system. So the transistor epithelium is otherwise known as urothelium. There are two more special type of epithelial cells in the body. Neuroepithelial cells and myoepithelial cells. Neuroepithelial cells. These cells are epithelial in origin with sensory function. Example, cells of taste buds. Myoepithelial cells. These cells are also of epithelial origin which has specialized function of contraction. Okay, they are present in example sweat glands, mammary glands. Glands. Definition. Glands are nothing but outgrowth of epithelial cells or epithelial cells that are specialized in performing the function of secretion constitutes gland. Classification of glands. Glands may be classified, number one, depending upon the way of secretion into exocrine gland and endocrine gland. Exocrine gland or the glands which pour the secretions through duct. Example, salivary gland, liver. Endocrine glands. They are ductless glands which pour the secretions directly into the bloodstream. Example, pituitary gland, thyroid gland. Number two, nature of secretion. That is depending upon the nature of secretion. It is divided into serous type, mucus type and mixer type. Serous type. In this, the secretions are thin or watery like structure. Example, parotid salivary gland. Mucus type. In this type, the secretions are thick or gel-like nature. Example, sublingual salivary gland. Mixer type. In this type, the secretions are containing both the serous and mixer type of secretions. Example, submandibular salivary gland. Depending upon the shape of the secretory portion, the glands may be divided into tubular, acina and alveolar. Okay. Tubular example, Brunner's gland and gastric glands. Acina example, salivary glands. Alveolar example, mammary glands. Depending upon the mechanism of secretion, the glands may be divided into apocrine, holocrine and mirocrine. Apocrine, in this, okay, the apical portion of the cell comes out as secretion. That is, if you pinch the apical portion, it squeezes out. So, like that, the secretions comes out. So, apocrine, the apical portion of the cells comes out as secretion. Holocrine, the entire cell ruptures and comes out as secretion. Mirocrine, in this type, okay, the secretions comes out like a fluid droplets by a process or mechanism known as exocytosis. Okay. Apocrine, example, mammary gland. Holocrine, example, Sebaceous glands. Mirocrine, example, most of the exocrine glands. So, this is the classification of epithelial tissue. Thank you.